Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I would like to thank everybody for being a part of my community and watching my videos. And I'm hoping that everybody gets a little bit of uh, information that helps you out or that helps somebody out in your family. Or if you share it with some friends or something, it helps them out too. It's all about the community. It's all about everything that we do and how we communicate back and forth through comments. I think comments are one of the best quality information things that we can do as a community is to get the information out there so that we can help out everybody. That's what it's all about. That's what this world should be about. But right now that is chaos. So we have to stick together and we do that through community. Now there are a lot of YouTube channels out there and I'm sure a lot of people watch a lot of different YouTube channels like I do and everybody else. And it's all about the community and a lot of the channels that I do watch. Now this little video here is just gonna be like a little uh, snippets of some of the videos that I have done. And in the past, in case you're new here and you've only watched just a few of the new videos, I have a very large, um, say collection of videos that I have done. Um, one of my biggest uh, series that I did was on hurricane season 2020. Uh, it's a series. There's 30 some odd videos in there and I break it down into all different uh, sections and different topics. This way here, if there's something that you're looking for in particular, you can go in and you can watch those videos and hopefully get the answers you're looking for or getting the information you need. And feel free at any time to comment and I will do my best to answer and hopefully give you answers to your questions. At this time, I'm still a small channel, so that is very easy for me to do. But I'm just barely under 400 subscribers. I keep growing a little bit each day and I am slowly getting there. This way here, you know, we're all growing together and hopefully I am helping you people out. That's one of the whole reasons why that I did start my YouTube channel was to help out people that may need the information and maybe save somebody's life or help them prepare for a emergency situation. Now, some of these videos that you're going to find are on these little snips are on like the first aid, the best books you need, how to start prepping, um, how to survive, Pandora's box, top 10 things you need, why you want to be a prepper, and will you be ready? So until next time, I hope you all enjoy this little clip and we'll catch you all on the flip side. So, you know, the biggest thing is you just want to make sure that you're prepared, make sure that you have a plan. Um, you can use these uh, preparedness and plans for any other type of situation that may arise. Um, we don't know what's going to go on with this pandemic uh, as far as is it going to come back? Is it going to stick around? Uh, nobody knows. There's too many hypotheticals out there. Uh, people just don't really know what's going to happen. This is uncharted territory and we're just kind of like um, winging it, if you want to say. To all the preppers out there and the people that want to start prepping, has Pandora's box been opened? We're going to cover that question here in a second. Stay tuned. So, the question stands, has Pandora's box been opened? And let's clarify one thing real quick, get this right out of the way. I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, whatever you are. All right, they're all in cahoots together and all they care about are themselves. It's all a big club and we're not in it. So you live in a big city, lots of people, thousands of people. Yes, you can survive in the big city. Might just be a little bit more difficult than if you lived in a country, but you can still do it. Do you have a plan? What happens if the power goes out? Do you know what to do then? Do you have backup? Do you have any way to charge your cell phone? Do you have any type of plan in place. Remember one thing, as long as you have electronics, cell phones, computers, laptops, you're being followed. Doesn't matter what you do. If they want to know where you are, they'll follow you. Don't forget that. Hey, 
Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and you're in the Command Center once again. Hi, welcome back. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and in this section here, we're going to be talking about the beginners in prepping for a short-term 30-day or less supply, and some of the things that you may need, and how to do some of this stuff. So, did you have to fight all those crowds to go out and run out and get food? because they were threatened a lockdown and, or a pandemic. You're gonna learn next why you shouldn't have to do that and how. Stay tuned. Lysol. Now this is Walmart's brand because um, this is all we've been able to get. Uh, we haven't found a Lysol product in any store that we've been in. Um, Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, um, Harvey's, any, any type of store, Walgreens, uh, nobody has had these products. Um, we did grab a couple of cans a while back when Walmart had these on the shelf, but they no longer have them. Now, so let's get started. First thing you want to start off with is you want to make sure that you have some rubber gloves. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of this stuff is in these little pouches. These pouches are waterproof, so I put all my first aid gear into those because the bag is not waterproof. Next thing, you want TP for your bone hole. Sorry about that. It's just a force of nature for me to do that. Um, and some tissues. So this way here, if you know, you never know, nature calls, but you could also use this for other different things too. Uh, moving on right along here. In this pouch right here, you have your standard ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, um, oh, Benadryl, and that kind of stuff is in here in case somebody gets bit or has a headache or, you know, whatever. Uh, some way to start a fire in this pouch here is matches and make sure that you have some matches you may have to start a fire to keep 